So a few years ago, on the steps of a local post office, I was having one of those brutal days. Too much to do, lines everywhere, perspective pretty tough sell. And the post office was certainly no exception. After about 20 minutes online, I finally had my turn. And business done, fell quickly into like that New York stride. Moving to the steps, I glance up, and I'm almost knocking over this young kid who's dressed in a blazer and a tie. He looked maybe about eight or nine years old. He's kind of nervously offering chocolate bars for sale, you know, saying, you know, help our school. But old habits died pretty hard. I mean, for years as a New Yorker, I came to see almost anyone who asked for money on the street in the same vein as pests, addicts, thieves, uh, you know, uh, yeah, even kids. You know, plants used by parents maybe to solicit money for alcohol or drugs. But through a combination of fatherhood, spiritual exploration, the pursuit of maybe a more conscious path, and a switch to decaf latte, um, I found my outlook really sort of seeding to a more compassionate voice. You know, it was less, why are you bothering me? And more, well, who am I really to judge? So as I look up at this kid, and he's smiling kind of insecurely, and feeling like maybe my karma needs a little bit of a zip that day too. And I want to do something nice. So I offer him a buck. You know, I buy a bar of chocolate and I say, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good and did a good deed. And I make my way out the door and down the short flight of stairs and through the glass door. And as I approach, I notice that there's an older gentleman, silver hair, glasses, leaning with some effort on a cane and smiling at me. And I thought this was kind of odd because people don't make eye contact on the street in New York City, even older people. But he looked so kind and I couldn't resist smiling back. And as I began to move towards him thinking, well, that would be the end of it. His smile widens even more to a grin. And he begins to raise his hand and he's pointing. And I realize he's pointing at the young man inside the steps. And he looks at me and quietly he says, it's my grandson, thank you. And that moment has always stayed with me. Karma returned in such a small moment that has just shifted the way that I look at everybody on the street, everybody I interact with, everybody that I come in contact with. One small moment, one small story that awakened my humanity. I wonder what stories might unfold in your life today. Mm -hmm.